11 years ago, I left my corporate job. From that time, I dedicated every minute of my life to chocolate. I would like to invite you for a little chocolate journey full of compassion, love, and awareness. Today we can discover how chocolate can change life of one person and how it can change your lives, improve your health, and contribute to a more harmonized and balanced state. Let's ask about a simple question. How chocolate tastes in the past? We must go back to the times of the Aztecs, a civilization which is surrounded by mysteries, mysticism, and supernatural beings. By the way, the Aztec King Montezuma drank around 40 hot chocolate cups a day. He was well known and as one of the biggest chocolate experts ever. I would like he were here with us today so I could ask him, Dear King Montezuma, why chocolate? Why 40 cups? And maybe, just maybe, he would answer that chocolate gives him the same feeling like shamans in Peru and Colombia speak about. That it is a gift which allows him to open his mind to happiness, love, and contribution. And because I am questioning a lot, and I like to test people, I would like to bring him like regular chocolate bar. And I believe that he would answer something like, what have you done with this gift? It is just that mass. I cannot use this for cocoa ceremonies. You managed to create from something, nothing. And I would ask him, if it's something wrong, if you feel that there is something wrong, what is it? And I believe that he would answer me very calmly. Come with me to taste or to make a short chocolate tasting. Please, very carefully open these boxes. And I have to warn you from beginning, this chocolate might be for you a little bit bitter and unusual. <laughs> you can put it in your mouth and please do not bite it. Just leave it in your tongue to melt it. And maybe we can uh, switch off lights after, and you can close your eyes. Maybe after some time, you would start to feel another taste. Maybe some acidity. Maybe you could feel some exotic fruits. Eating of chocolate is a ritual. It's time you can take just for yourself. You can just calm and relax. It's time you do not need to prove to anybody that you are the best in the world. It's time you do not need to compete with anybody. And maybe after some time, you would start to feel the taste of chocolate creamy. And it shows us that if we step up the, out of the box and we try even something what was bitter in the beginning, the result can be une unexpected in a good way. And I am just asking why this is not happening with regular chocolate bar. It is because it's a huge difference between traditional bean to bar and industrial chocolate production. In traditional bean to bar production, it's like just maximum to 10% of whole world market. The rest, more than 90%, is industrial. Bean to bar producers are leaving whole bean and they are not separating it into cocoa butter and cocoa, cocoa powder. They leave whole bean and then put, they put them and process them in a stone mill for as long 
as three days. For this reason, the price you can afford it, it's totally different to chocolate you usually find in supermarkets. It's making people confused why it's this huge difference between you see this melanger, you process it for a long time, and you put there a lot of work, machine work, a lot of energy, a lot of money, and a lot of love. If it, these cocoa beans are produced like this, mechanically, we can call chocolate food and even superfood because it has incredible amount of benefits. On contrary, in industrial production, you would separate beans into cocoa powder and cocoa butter. And it's for reason such as selling cocoa butter to pharmaceutics and cosmetics, because it's very valuable commodity to use it in other industries. And in food, usually you have just cocoa powder. And definitely, you cannot call this chocolate food. We can call it like snack, full of sugar, and it's ultra-processed because it's chemical way, I will explain you. And this is what Montezuma was referring to, that we created from even the best, we can create even from the best food in the world if we process it from something, nothing. Maybe you might think that the white chocolate is not chocolate. White chocolate is chocolate. Because the basic ingredient of white chocolate is this cocoa butter. And cocoa butter is yellow, like normal butter. And cocoa powder is brown or black. And white chocolate cannot be white with brown cocoa powder. But because cocoa powder is cheaper and it's basic ingredient for milk chocolate, this myth around white chocolate was created like an excuse for a final customer not to buy it because white chocolate is not so profitable like milk chocolate. Okay, what to buy? Maybe you can buy dark chocolate. It's definitely a better option. But can you imagine when you go to supermarket, you buy usually chocolate which is totally black or almost black. By how it is possible if beans, you can see it, are brown or even a little bit purple. I don't know, if we mix like purple with brown, definitely it shouldn't be black, no? Have you questioned yourself why it is like this? All the problem becomes because of cocoa production conditions in Africa. Because slavery-like conditions make it cheaper to produce, Africa accounts for about 80% of whole world production. A part of these issues with slavery, native beans from Africa are very bitter and very poor quality. And if we process them in non-chemical way, what I told you before, it wouldn't take three days, but it would take, for example, 14 days. But if you're buying something for cheap and you are like forcing to people to make it to buy for cheap, I believe that the probability that you will produce it for expensive is almost zero. And the big producers, this 90% I told you, they invented a huge magic. In 18th century, guy, Dutch guy, who was named Van Houten, invented alkalization or dutching process of chocolate. And usually he took powder because cocoa butter was already sold to cosmetics or pharma. He took the powder and because it was very bitter, he put it in a chemical process and the powder during this process became black because the pH went up as well. And bitterness was gone. We should speak about these benefits because Benefits of bean-to-bar chocolate are huge. If you saw the movie Venom, I believe that you saw, you would know that this monster, it's kind of funny one in TV, uh, that this monster needs to get uh, to be stronger, human brains or chocolate. This is because of phenylethylamine. 
which is a hormone of love. And everybody needs love, even Venom, at least at TV. <laughs> so better to treat him with chocolate than with human brains of bad guys. Or we can think about this, maybe it would be good punishment, but it's for another speech. And I bet if you treat him with chocolate from supermarket, he wouldn't be satisfied and he would eat your brain. Coco has a lot of benefits. It has 300 chemically identified elements. It has a lot of vitamins, minerals, phenolic antioxidants, flavonols. It's primary source of magnesium. It has two times more phenolic antioxidants than red wine and three times more than green tea. Definitely, cocoa helps to avoid strokes and infarctions. It helps to diabetes. It's even natural aphrodisiacs because it's, there is arginine, which is called natural Viagra. Many studies have proved the many benefits of chocolate. And in the same time, in these studies, was proven decrease flavanols because of the dutching process of alkalization. For example, this study, cocoa and chocolate in human health and disease, made in Yale University in 2011 by Dr. Katz, concluded that the probability of net health benefit for most people from habitual intake of dark chocolate is high. The another study from Harvard, 2022, had the same conclusion and it proved what the previous one. But in the same time, it's written there that cocoa, which is treated with alkali or Dutch process to improve the flavor and appearance, it's definitely just told by the big producers because it's good for them, causes a significant loss of flavanols and therefore less health benefits. Usually, these studies are made with non-alkalized chocolate. And of course, if you're making everything bean to bar, you know the source, you know the farmers, you are making everything directly, you support them, and they give you very good quality beans, which you do not need to process for a long time. In the same time, it's really sustainable cooperation and it's ethical farming. And do you think that there is some plus in case of industrial chocolate? Okay. For me, no. Because we are eating almost that mass, alkalized chocolate, and we are part of the biggest issues like slavery or unethical farming. I have shared a lot of information with you today. It's still not enough, it's really on the surface. I learned more in 11 years, yeah? <laughs> but information is the first step to awareness, and awareness leads to change. I would like for you to care what you eat. If you recognize it, we can be more responsible for our body, for our brain, we can be sure that Venom will not, will not come, and for our society. Request it from yourself to be more informed, not just in case of chocolate. The more we are informed, the more we can change. Then we know that we have a meaning. We feel it here, here inside. If you go next time to eat black chocolate or almost black chocolate, try to think what is hidden behind if it's black. Try to think what the producer is telling you because you are more open to see the truth. Producers are not forced by law to inform us that the chocolate, the final product, is alkalized. They are forced just on cocoa beans, but we eat cocoa beans maybe 0, 0 0.1, and the rest is chocolate products and they are not forced to tell you about it, this. Choosing right chocolate 
then 10 percent it's making impact not just on yourself on your health on health of your uh, family of society but it's giving the possibility to change what will happen in other part of the planet in one year in five years or in ten years it's up to you it's up to you if you will take this journey and not come to the end when the last fish has been caught the last tree has been cut, cut down and the last tree poisoned it will be too, too late to realize that we cannot eat money thank you <laughs>